Anin Buju, band members. Today is Monday, September 13th. And COVID updates for the counties. Aiken County last week, 1,494. Today, 1,524. Crow Wing last week, 7,438. Today, 7,630. Mille Lacs last week, 3,408. Today, 3,490. Pine County last week, 3,623 and today 3,678. The Mille Lacs Reservation band member cases in District 1 and District 2A, there is one new case. So we are now up to 143. District 2, no changes. District 3, no new cases and they stay the same. Every week we talk about the COVID updates for the counties and on the reservation. And I know at some point folks are probably saying we've had enough of this and people are very tired of it. And what's so difficult with providing any kind of information is that the science and the data that comes from that changes on a week to week basis. And with the vaccine, it's evolving. And they talk about this, the Delta variant and that's what's going on. So it's hard to continuously give you information that changes from week to week, but that's what we're experiencing. As we go along, I just hope that folks still follow the protocol of getting the vaccine, of washing hands frequently, and also wearing the mask. And they're saying, if you wear the mask, that is one of the biggest preventers. So hopefully when we're going forward, we can continue to do that. On Saturday, September 11th, it was the 20th anniversary of 9-11. And many of the young people may not have even been born when that happened, but many of us do remember exactly where we were. And I had plans to go to Washington, DC, there was a huge tribal gathering that tribal leaders from all over the country were to attend. And because of a funeral in our community, and that was one of our respected elders, Mashaquad, I decided not to go. And wow, what a good decision not to go when there was that um, bombing of the Pentagon and people couldn't get out of Washington, DC. I know some of our folks were there um, and then they had to rent a car. They were lucky to rent a car to get back home. And we even had one of our band members had to take a train to uh, a certain location and the others picked them up in the car and they all drove back to Minnesota. It was scary time. And uh, hopefully we never see that event again. What is so sad about September 11th, there were over 3000 individuals that lost their lives. Very scary for us. And our hearts go out to the families because they still remember this day every year and what they had to experience. The band receives a lot of information regarding grants. And there is one called the DEED grant and that is through the Department of Employment and Economic Development. And it's called the Main Street COVID Relief Grants Program. And there is a seminar on Tuesday, September 14th or Monday, September 20th. The information will be on the website and this program will make grants available from the amounts of 10,000 to 25,000. And if you own and operate a business and you've had financial hardship and there's many that have. So if you own your own business or you know on someone that does have a business and has had issues because of 
COVID-19, please share the information with them. Another informational session is called Healthy Land, Healthy Lake Expo. And that is any resident, property owner, and visitors. And you're invited to learn how you can help preserve the water quality of Mille Lacs Lake. And that is Saturday, September 18th, 9 a.m. to noon. And the event will be at McCoy's Inn in Isle. And that information will be on the website as well. With that, um, like to say good day, and I will talk to you soon. Miigwech.